Hey everybody, the Good and Twenty Four here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus on the Nintendo Switch. I do have a video out already, and it is on the uh, the handheld part of the game, and you can see how that runs and looks, and I'm actually pretty impressed. I've only done a couple races, but I'm going to give you my actual thoughts, you know, first impressions here. This won't be a review, but we're just going to play a little bit, and I'm going to let you know how I feel. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to have a little fun and, and play around and and just see what happens. So uh, anyway, um, so I something I've noticed off the bat is the loading screens take a little bit. It took a little bit just to get the game going, and I thought like maybe it crashed or something, but that's not good. But for this type of game, it's okay. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and throw a fit about it. So when you get to the main menu, you can select the 2021 or 2020 season. Now, I wouldn't know why you'd pick the 2020 season when that's two seasons ago, but it is what it is. Um, so you've got all your different options. You can go back to switch to 2020. You've got online. You've got, you know, all these different things. And so let's go ahead and let's do a race now race. I've done the cup and the dirt tour on my handheld video. So we'll go and do an Xfinity Series race. I wish these were uh, updated because I would like for Landon to not be in the uh, <laughs> 89. But that's okay. Uh, at least they got his name spelt right. But we'll go ahead and pick the blue emu. Oh man, it's so pretty. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead. What race should we do this time? Uh, so... Let's do Homestead. And let's go ahead. We'll make it a shorter race. We don't we're not gonna do all of that, so two percent. And alright, and let's go ahead and race. So guys, if you uh like the content and the channel and all that stuff, or if you're new, uh please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. Um I'm trying to become a bigger YouTuber and uh you know, I'd, I would love to have you stick around, and I do a lot of videos. I play a lot of NASCAR games, I racing. I uh, have a NASCAR 21 uh, career story mode going on where I, I make it like NASCAR 2005 and have an agent and everything. So if you wanted to stick around and watch some of those, that'd be awesome. But uh, it's it's been a lot of fun, and I thank you guys for the support. <clears throat> so now you have to, to keep your expectations here. This is a Switch game, and the Switch is more or less an xbox 360 so that's not landed <laughs> so yeah these graphics aren't going to be fantastic and uh, and these guys aren't going to put the amount of effort in that it would be if it was a, a 360 game but i'm not <coughs> upset Oop, i hit the wrong button that's okay i'm not upset with this i i think even you know the graphics aren't absolutely great but i think they look good for a switch game i was expecting a lot worse Now, something that I've already noticed and that is just weird to me is that since the Switch doesn't have analog triggers, you're, you're using essentially buttons. So you're not going to be able to give it half throttle or anything. You're going to have to, you know, play with the gas and on and off. And that's just something you're going to have to get used to. Man, I think this looks pretty good. I mean, you all could, could disagree with, you know, I understand it's blurry, but I... For this, I was expecting worse. I really was. And I think in handheld mode, it's only going to look better because it's a smaller screen. I've wanted to play NASCAR <laughs> on the go for a long time. And I'm glad they finally got a Switch game out. And I hope it does well so they can keep making them on Switch. I bought this for $33 at Walmart. Walmart has games for... Most games for like $10 off day they come out, so... If you're interested in buying this game, I would recommend Walmart because it I, it was thirty-three dollars, and I don't think I had a very good lap here. So let's see what it what it comes out to. Oh wow, yeah, we were two seconds off, nineteenth. So let's go ahead and get to the race. I love the Blue Emu car, and that's not because Blue Emu is nice to me. <laughs> All right, let's get to the race. All right. How many laps do we got? I haven't played NASCAR Heat in a while, so I got to remember all the buttons. Halo, Halo. 
Oh. Ah. All right. Isn't there a rear view mirror somewhere? Oh my gosh, that's very bright. Am I crazy? Isn't there a review mirror? Are there options? There's not. Maybe there's not in the Switch version. I don't know. I could... I do not know. At least there's a look behind stick. Oh, we are all over David Starr. We're going to push him past Jeremy Clements up here. Careful, still there. Still there. All right. I'm at the frame rate's pretty decent. I haven't noticed any stutters from my play. I don't think it was as great on the dirt. I'll say that. But I mean, this looks pretty decent. I haven't had really any problems. No stutters, no no choppy uh, screen tearing or anything. I mean, I was expecting the worst. I mean, th I know they all did was port it, but you know, everybody was it's pretty upset about NASCAR 21, so I think it would have been really fair to think or to to think that maybe they'd mess that up too. Gonna go to the outside. Come on. Oh, into the fence. Oh, we are loose. I have not played this game in so long that I have forgotten. Oh, we're gonna fall back to 10th here. We got one more corner. I'm just gonna send it in here. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's a fun way to end the race. I got too aggressive. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, uh, now I'm let's. I'll go ahead and switch to a truck race, and then we'll see if online is working or not. All right, we're back, and we're at Darlington with Daniel Suarez. Let's go ahead, and we won't practice. We're just gonna go ahead and qualify. Like I said, I'm not gonna uh, disparage or disagree that there are low quality textures. And you can see that the, the catch fence is kind of popping in, but, I mean, that's just kind of, I don't know, it, it's it's not a big deal for me. If it is for you, then, then so be it, but a NASCAR game on the go is all I was really wanting, and, you know, NASCAR heat isn't fantastic by any stretch of the imagination, but it's, it's, it's fine, and... I would prefer it over just about anything else on on the go on on the switch. Eh, we are oh we're in the fence. I'm probably gonna do a career mode on this. It's gonna be very laid back, very laid back. I, I'm not gonna put the amount of effort I put into the NASCAR 21 one. It's just gonna be kind of like a very chilled like let's play type of thing, kind of how I used to do it back when I had like <laughs> 300 subscribers, but uh, let's make it a little bit looser, why don't we? All right, let's go. We're going green. Be ready here. Green All right, there's the green flag. I love Darlington, it's one of my favorite tracks. To race on in games, or and it was it's one of my favorite tracks I've ever been to. It's just really hard to get it right with AI. I don't think NASCAR 21 did at all. Oh, oh no, I just hook him. They've made it pack racing. Is there's a big one? <laughs> I think he got it sorted out though. And it's just really hard to pass because the AI wants to run in like a pack here and that's not at all how this place races. <laughs> Oh, that's too low. Don't spin out. Okay, we're good. I, this this game does have more feeling in the controller than uh, 
NASCAR 21, when you're in the draft, you at least get a little bit of a rumble. Still there. And you feel little bumps and things. It's definitely more feeling in the controller. I want to switch pro controller right now. <clears throat> Just an FYI there. Oh, here we go. We've got a run. Oh. So easy to turn too low as we get into <laughs> to Reddick. Hang on to it, buddy. McDowell, I don't know why he's so far up here. There we go. That's This is a good corner. No, it's just getting tied at the end. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to them or not. Oh, a little too much. Oh, no. I've looped it. Held on to it, though. But since they had that crash, there's so many... There's so much space since I wrecked uh, Truex or whatever. I bet that's, that's what it was. All right, let's go ahead and see if anybody's online. Oop, I forgot to hit the button. I got to get used to the switch controller. The B is on the bottom where the A should be, so or the X for PlayStation. I love the Switch, but, like, I, I'm never getting used to that. A, a PlayStation controller was my first ever, like, controller game, like, system I had. So I'm used to X being the bottom of the <laughs> of it. So, all right. I don't know how many people are going to be online here. I don't have high expectations, but we're going to see how it runs. And, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't have any expectations. At least that we can see lobbies in this, I'm pretty sure. Yes. We have six active racers. All right. Well, let's see what we can do here. See if anybody's here. Uh. All right. So they're in the middle of a race. I'm going to wait it out. All right. So here we go. We're going to see how this goes. There's just three of us, uh, and I, I'm just... There's just not a lot of people playing right now. Oh, and now there's two of us. Well. We're going to get very, very, uh, <laughs> very, very basic online experience. So, all right. So far, so good, though. She's trying to... Okay. Well, we're off to a bad start. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so that didn't go very well and there's only 3 people online right now. So, uh there's not much I can do here, so maybe at some point when there's more people online I can give you a better better judgment of that. So, uh anyway, we'll do one more race here to round it out and then we will actually do a Oop, I hit the wrong button. I will do a <laughs> Super Speedway in the truck, the one thing I have not done yet, and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, we're going to start in the back here and see if how far forward we can work our way up in the trucks here at Talladega. All right. It'll probably just be, what, three laps or something? Two laps. All right, so we don't have a lot of time. I do like the controller vibrating in the draft. I understand why somebody wouldn't, but I don't think it's bad. At least it gives me some some way to to know that that I'm I'm drafting. Oh my gosh! Come on, I'm gonna need some help. Here we go. Big run. We're just going to go down to the bottom. We're going to go below the line. I don't care. Oh. 
Well, I mean, this is essentially NASCAR Heat 5. I mean, it plays just like it. There, I don't really think there are any gameplay limitations, aside from a mirror, for some reason. Which I, may be due to technical limitations, which kind of stinks for sure, because even like the old NASCAR games on PS1 had one. I don't know. Are we two for two on, on games from, from this company without a rearview mirror? Um, but that's something that you're going to have to decide for yourself. As here we come out of the last corner, I can't get a run because i got nobody behind me. Still there. And we're going to end up 22nd. So guys, this is NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus on the switch we'll be playing some more of it so if this didn't uh give you enough uh gameplay or anything then i'll be posting more so don't worry but uh for now i think if you want an nascar game on switch this is definitely going to be something that you enjoy so uh guys as always thanks for watching and we'll chat with you next time bye